Uh, we have an assistant in the kitchen, and y'all, she is standing on like a little stool, by the way. She's really, I mean, she's tall, but yeah. we're not that tall. My name is Amy Smith Hightower. I'm Sarah Castleberry. And, and what's your name? Slow. Slow. No, she's so cute. Okay, so we are coming to you live with, guess what the topic is today, guys? Breakfast or dessert? Who cares? It's yummy. That's all we know. And um, make sure you guys share this video out. We will be we will be posting the recipe later today in our You Can Keto community. So make sure you type in You Can Keto in the comments below so we can get you added to our community to score this recipe. She's and doing everything you're doing. For so entertainment, beautiful. for entertainment purposes today. In case uh, Sloan, are you gonna make videos when you get older? Are you gonna have your own YouTube channel? She told me she's gonna be a chef. A chef. She's gonna be a chef. Is that right? And then she can do cooking videos. Yes. Yes, a chef. We have a chef and a horse trainer. Yes, that's what uh, my kids want to be. That's what Scarlett and Slane wants to be. Okay, guys, we're going to dive in. But Sarah and I were discussing this morning. Um, when we worked up the recipe yesterday, we put chaffle because it is a strawberry chaffle is what we were we're going for. But, but there's no cheese in it. So what do you call that? A waffle. Let, is it a waffle? But I thought a waffle is like has wheat. I don't know. So anyway, let us know after you see this what we should call this recipe. I know we shouldn't call it awful. Yeah, <laughs> because it's delicious. So yeah. that one's yeah. out. So was yeah, that funny? absolutely. So let us know in the comments below what we should call this because I can't call it a chaffle because it'll drive her crazy, and I don't want to call it a waffle because it doesn't have wheat. So I guess we'll go from that. So what do you want to call it? Yummy. Yep, yummy. Okay, ready. Okay, so you're gonna start out with whatever kind of waffle maker you have. Can you show them which one we're using today? It has a pineapple for summer, and I think you're gonna be giving one. Yeah, so I was fixing to say, do you want, yeah, so we got this one, and it's the, like I said, the pineapple for the summer. And one person who shares this video out in the next 24 hours on their personal page or in a keto community uh, is gonna receive one of those really cute pineapple shuffle makers in the mail directly from You Can Keto. And we're standing over here because her plug-in's on the side of the and she's got island. Her computer. And so my, no, my, that it will only reach to right here the waffle maker. So I don't think you can see it. Maybe I should scoot it this way a little. Yes. Now you can see All it. All right. See? Now you, you can, can see it. Let me Sorry. scoot Sony over. Oh, tight. We got. Okay. Keto in the kitchen. We're gonna spray it. She's already mixed this up, but we'll show you. And that's coconut oil that we're spraying with, guys. Not Pam, nothing like that. It's coconut oil, and they have an avocado oil spray as well. I okay. one of those work. So we're gonna pour this in, and while it's cooking, we'll tell you what's all in it. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. Are you guys Let's excited for this recipe? that? And let it. How long is that gonna cook for? Five minutes. Good Five job, Sloney. Hey, how old are you gonna be your next birthday, Sloan? She's eating strawberries. She's good. Okay, so first off, you're going to take an egg. And if you've watched the videos from me before, I always crack it into a bowl or a measuring cup. Okay, can you pour this in there, son? Okay. Now, do you know what to do with that? Whisk it. Whisk it. Whisk it away. Whisk away your troubles, right? One egg. Okay, now you're gonna mix in. I mean, is she heavy not the cream? Helper ever? Can you mix in this heavy cream? Good job. Okay. Now we're gonna have some. What is this? Can you say vanilla? No, you can't say it. Yeah. Pure okay. vanilla. Little vanilla. And now you're gonna do um, almond flour. Three tablespoons of all. Almond flour. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. I like to use Let's, this. Go ahead, sorry. sorry. I like to ahead. use this scoop because I can scoop it out of the bag with it, and then this has the measurement on the end, That's and really she awesome. can use it. So dump that in. Yeah, I was gonna tell you guys I, on a note on the almond flour. Make sure that you are looking at the ingredients in almond flour. I've noticed a couple of brands lately have added fillers in it that makes them non keto friendly, and it jumps way up the cart count. So make sure you're checking the bags um, and the ingredients on your almond flour. Um, also, while we're talking about that, I'm, we have so many new members in our community. And if you're brand new, 
never seen us before, please write me in the comments below. We'd love to connect with you. But we, the reason that we do not, this is a question I got asked several times yesterday even, so I wanted to clear it up. The reason that most of our recipes do not include macros is very, very simple. And it's not some big hidden reason, but what it is is because like heavy whipping cream, um, almond flour, et cetera, those, thing, those items will vary greatly depending upon their brand of what their carb count, what their fat count, what their protein counts are. So what we do is we just give you the um, standard recipe and then you can add your own brands into your, um, into your tracking app. That way you will have the exact macros for what you're eating, not just a guesstimate um, based upon someone else's measurements. Okay, so what we've added while she was talking was some sweetener and um, keto sweetener keto sweetener and i like to tell you that if you want to add some like powdered sugar but powdered sweetener you can throw your sweetener in your blender for a little a couple seconds 10 seconds or so and it makes great powdered sweetener yep I like so to we do that so. we like swerve and we also like monk fruit so both are two that um that we use the most and we added in a little bit of baking powder and then you mix it all together and you pour it in your waffle maker and now it's done and it usually cook for about five minutes is the other side the honey waffle? Mm -hmm. i'm trying to see if we could get look this. at this ah! one she's gonna get it we forgot to get a plate for it but look she'll show look. you look it's funny you make that how cute is that ah, do you guys love it and then here this is how she wanted to top it. You want to show them? This is the one we made right before. And she puts a little slice of strawberries. You could do strawberries. That's what we picked for this video. Or you could do any kind of berries. Any kind of berries. And, and then berries. we take some of the uh, powdered sweetener and top it on top. And you can even add some Lily chocolate chips if you want to do that. Oh, I forgot. And I add some butter into my mix. I forgot to show you. Yeah, it's okay. But we add just a little bit of butter. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you share this video out. Um, let me know if she's topping hers off. You guys can see it. And this not. would be so fun to do with your kids. Yes, so fun. absolutely. And this is a great thing for them to do. A healthy alternative to cupcakes, cakes, etc. And I right. drizzle a little bit of butter on top. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So make sure you share this video out. Drop you can keto in the comments below. And uh, we will see you over on the inside at you can keto community. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks guys. Say bye, Sloan. <laughs>